<clears throat> hey guys, good morning. I'm gonna do a Pisces reading today. My video is kind of cut off, so okay. Um, I only have one deck today. It's really simple reading. Um, well, not simple reading, but same reading. I'm just gonna be simplified with this one right away. So hopefully, this gives me the juicy answers that I need. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do a Pisces reading for April. We're finally at a Pisces season, but well, and we, um, I think Pisces uh, I moon actually ended to today too. So, um, going into Aries moon during Aries season, and um, see what's going on with Pisces for April. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, kind of mixed messages. Um, we have an Eight of Cups reversed. So I feel like you, okay, maybe this isn't so mixed. You were kind of departing from something that you returned to. Um, with the Four of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles here, I do feel like you are ready to build um, a solid foundation with somebody. Um, you are in a, actually kind of a happy state or um, celebratory state with this new beginning of some sort so there's like a return to something that like you had left before um, hmm. okay so I feel like um, with the tower reversed the hierophant reversed and the seven of wands reversed that you guys um are kind of freeing yourselves from any previously held like structures that weren't um, serving you anymore and you're also kind of done like fighting for something that you were fighting for um with the tower reverse i feel like it could either be that you're trying to avoid a potential disaster within your structure or you feel like it would create like a lack of um stability if you were to approach something or I feel like um, hmm. I don't know why but I'm getting this word like avoidance so you're avoiding something a lot um, because it's like very destabilizing for you but I also feel like you're releasing yourself from what you feel like are chains of things like kind of holding you back um, I have the Hermit reversed. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo who's sort of like kind of checked out or um, some of you might be not willing to like look inside at your um, your uh, your stuff, <laughs> I guess. Um, sorry about the noise in the back. I'm just gonna amp up my volume a little. Um, so we have the moon, strength, and five of pentacles reverse. Wow, it's really loud. Like I said. So, um, the moon and the strength card is like, I feel like you guys are holding on really, really tight to your secrets. Like, you are protecting them. You're very, it's like you're kind of strong when it comes to that moon side of you, which is very like this... I'm not gonna lie like deceptive like hidden secrets and you are very very like this is like Pisces like 12th house like this underworld that's inside of you is like very much like kind of your strength but also your weakness um, with the five of Pentacles reversed I feel like you're coming out of a period where there was like an abandonment or you abandoned someone or I don't know. I'm not really getting a clear message here. I mean, I feel like, okay, nine of cups here. So you're manifesting what you want, what you desire. But you don't want love. I don't. Um, the ace of cups reversed is um, you don't want an intense emotional connection, I feel like. Or um a new feeling of love you don't want emotion uh, it's weird yeah the lovers is reversed here so there's a barrier to love 
I was gonna start you're singing it. <laughs> you're gonna have to admit that you're addicted to love, but it's actually the opposite. You're yeah. being avoided. That's this whole this whole pull is about being avoided. The only thing that I just don't understand is, I guess this is too the Eight of Cups reverse with the. All right, let me see. So what I'm getting is you're avoiding love with the lovers reversed, and your wish is to not have love. This, okay, Ace of Swords, Judgment, Five of Swords, okay, well, Three of Wands, Five of Swords, Judgment, okay, these are the cards that I just pulled. Um... I kind of feel like you're waiting on somebody to punish you. I don't know why that sounds weird, but there's like a lot of like fighting and clarity, but in a way it's like that Pisces like falling in love with your captor kind of thing like I don't know like you guys I don't know where I'm getting that message from but um let me see queen of cups with some of you have a lot of anxiety over a water sign um Pisces Scorpio Cancer this could be you but this is like a lot of anxiety here oh there's another card oh okay two of cups so there is a um, an anxiety about a partnership with a water sign. I feel like there's a connection here, but it's too much for you. Um, let's get like a little bit more clarity on that. I feel like there's a conflict here and you don't want to have to make a decision or um, a judgment call like with the two of wands reversed. I don't know guys, I'm just like, it's really hard with one deck, but um, Okay. What, what's this conflict, this Five of Swords about? This Two of Cups, this Hangman. I feel like you guys really just need to surrender to what's happening and just surrender and stop kind of fighting the natural course of things, I guess. Um, I don't know. It's like weird. <laughs> it's hard with one deck, really, because I can't get. Yeah, the four of cups reverse wanted to come up before, and now it's coming out again.